that's the tow vehicle that we're going to use. Oh, fantastic. Do you know what that is? Oh, yeah. Tesla's uh, <laughs> Cybertruck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I'm what familiar we're... with EVs. I run oh. races. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to use that to tow this. So if you don't mind, let's talk about this trailer real quick. What's the weight on this trailer? Uh, the gross capacity is 7,300, but that includes about a thousand pounds of cargo carrying capacity. So probably weighs 63 to 6,500 now with what's in it. Okay. Okay. And number one, why'd you buy an Airstream? Uh, they don't lose value like other trailers. A lot of the other trailers are made out of fiberglass and plastic and lightweight products. And the shelf life is maybe 10 years. This trailer is 10 years old, and I can sell it today for what it sold for 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah, and it's an iconic uh, yeah. brand and, and look, right? Yeah, this is a 2012 Eddie Bauer Special Edition, so it means it's kind of built for more adventure. The hatch opens in the back, which was a very rare option. Oh, it does it really? Back in the day, and uh, you could load... Uh, bicycles or canoes or anything straight into the back. Can you show me that? Yeah, I'd sure. like to see that. Grab, grab, this is the reason I bought it. <laughs> yeah, I never heard of that. Oh yeah, it has a whole door back here. So it's almost like a toy hauler. No, no, but that's not what it's for. Right. Uh, I didn't even know that they, they did this. That is cool. So the table comes out and these fold flat. And then it's got a rubberized floor instead of the normal like oh, wood yeah, laminate yeah. floor. So you could put stuff in yeah, there and sweep it out with crate. That is cool. That's why I bought this. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Cause that's, that's one of the appeals. You know, one thing that yeah, my screen comes down, like, you know, if you want to. Yeah, you get that breeze right. and fresh air. And yeah. I mean, the whole point of camping is to kind of enjoy the outdoors, right? That's it. That's cool. I didn't know. I didn't realize that it had that. Yeah. Okay. So the layout is exactly the same as one that doesn't come with the hatch, except the seats are fixed and you get like storage underneath with drawers so we give up the drawers to be able to i'd rather have this you know i'd rather have this do that i mean you could just put bins down there if you oh, need yeah, to absolutely it's, i mean it's no for big us, deal it's like when we go to the racetrack we bring like three electric bikes and we've got bins that we use the bikes go in the back you know it's got some little built-in tie downs under the seat so it's easy to oh yeah they know, do oh yeah And that's why it has almost 2,000 pound carry capacity. Carry capacity. Right. Because of this. Yep. That makes sense. But the amenities, the fit, the finish, all airstrip. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. you get the same quality, you just get this. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. How many feet is this? Uh, it's, a, it's called a 25, but if you measure bumper to the front of the hitch, it's 25 feet 11 inches. Okay. Okay. So lengthwise, mine is a little bit longer because mine is, living space is 26 feet. Um, yeah, hitch to bumper is 33 feet. Yeah, so when Airstream calls something a 25, it's from the bumper to the center of the hitch. Okay. But this is a 25. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. And and this is all what? What, what material is this exactly? Aluminum. Just aluminum. Everything aluminum on the outside. All right, so we made it to Cabazon. We started with 100% charge, which was 318 miles. We have 178 miles left, 56%. Um, the trip is showing we went 52 miles, 46 kilowatt hour total energy, and 893 watt hours per mile. 
So we have plenty of charge to get home, but I just want to show some stats. We're at 56%. It's showing an hour and 10 minutes to get to 100. I don't need to get to 100. So let's just say we want to get to 80. And that would take 25 minutes. So I'm just going to leave it there. We'll probably charge about 10 minutes and then head back. Roller coaster ride, hands up in the sky, take you on a ride, love to feel the high, we can start again, laughing to the end, screaming at the top, hope it never stops, we could do it all over, Thrill is bringing us closer, superstar you like Nova, oh, so incredible one time, gotta let it go tonight, wanna know what it feels like, yeah. All right, so we made it back towing the Airstream. We went 56 miles. It was a total of 35 kilowatt hours, total energy of 638 watt hours per mile, which I think was really, really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna put the Tessie app to kind of dive in a little deeper into the stats and numbers showing speed and temperature and all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna also go over uh, the weight. We went to the scales, got the trailer weighed. Um, so we'll take a look at all that and kind of dive a little bit deeper into the numbers. So we got both the truck and trailer weighed so we could get the true weight of the trailer. Both weighed 13,160 pounds. Take away the 6,603 pounds that the Cybertruck weighs and we get a total of 6,557 pounds. On our drive to Cabazon, it was 55.3 miles. We used 53.8 kilowatt hours. Went from 100% to 56%. Average speed was 50 miles per hour with a max of 71 miles per hour. Elevation change was 1,348 feet efficiency was 40 percent and we used 139.8 miles interior temperature was 68 degrees outside temperature was 57 from cabazon it was 51.7 miles we used 41.1 kilowatt hours average speed was 54 miles per hour with the max of 72 miles per hour elevation change was a negative 1253 feet efficiency was 48 percent used 107.6 miles oh. 